Welcome ladies and gentlemen, so, here we have it. I did talk about this game on a trailer that I saw a couple months ago, maybe? Probably? And, well, thanks for to the developer, I end up getting a key for the beta, and well... I asked first, so I have approval to release this. Originally, and normally, I do the first hour, but since the game is not even... Well, it is very close to release, but still more than a week or so, I decide to go to the three missions, or two, depending on the length of the video, because one, I don't want to give you spoilers to anyone, so I want to incentivize you to go and grab the game for yourself. After launch, yeah, I'm gonna be restarting and doing a full let's play beginning to end. Funny thing, I really did. A couple let's plays beginning to end but the game got a couple updates that I didn't check because well I want to give more or less a fresh so links for the Steam and Twitter for the game will be on the description and for the Steam page also on a pinned comment or any other links that I find about the developer because again I highly recommend people go and give it a look so without bloating the intro anymore let's go April 4th 2049 the second Cold War a conflict that has been simmering for as long as I can remember finally hit its boiling point Decades of tension and proxy operations between the West and the Russia-China coalition turned the world into chaos. You can no longer feel safe, not even on American soil. Technological progress has not compensated for the drastically changing climate and the massive depletion of natural resources. The East and West have been fighting to claim as much as possible for God knows how long. It's quite obvious that there will never be enough for everyone in this overpopulated Ooh, side, world. Uh, you can feel uncertainty in everyone's voice, and shit is getting more and more serious. After countless incidents and proxy wars, experts are sure it's enough to tip the scales of peace toward a new world war. Both sides mobilize their forces, deploying thousands of troops across the European and West Asian borders. That includes me, as well. I've been moved to the newly created 22nd Independent Mechanized Mobile Company alongside a bunch of lucky mech pilots that the U.S. Let's and be NATO honest, with this numbers, NATO is kind of the Russians. Stationed at a NATO base in eastern Turkey, I've already met my new wingman, Jake. He has a solid performance indicator from the Academy and a great attitude. I'm sure he'll do just fine. The two of us are going to be a part of a meet and greet that's supposed to stop the coalition in its tracks should they decide to proceed with an invasion. I want to say something, and that's gonna sound a lot asshole, but it's me, so, well. Part of me is kinda... I find funny that the game doesn't start in Poland. Seeing as you're going to be my new wingman, we might as well get to know each other. Where are you from? You mean you were going to be my wingman? <laughs> I'm from New York. How about you? Cut the chatter, you two. We have system checklists to run through. We've noticed unnatural movement behind the border. So let's make it quick. Copy that, command. First, the motion system. Follow the instruction on your HUD. What made you lucky enough to join the suicide platoon? Hand-picked by the top of command, actually. No kidding. Be that careful with the trust. <laughs> Something with like the boosters, that. because those you? things run uh, really volunteered. quickly. Really? Well, it was either that or tending to cattle for the rest of my life. Easy choice, to be honest. Yeah, I get that. My family wanted me to work a desk job my entire life. No thanks. I'm out here to serve my country. Calm down, pilot. The list is not over yet. Hey, I 
think she's got the hots for me. Bro, you must be even dumber than you look if you think she's got an interest in anything but telling you what to do. She can order me around any day. I like Jake. Oh, fine. Thank God for the military mobile unit, am I right? Yeah, this is how the war was meant to be experienced. From a gigantic killing machine. Guess we both made the right choice then. Like you said, boosters run your energy very fast. Uh Let me go back because I need to I couldn't read. I don't like wasting ammo, but you're fine. If you have a supply beacon equipped as a system module, you can call in supply drops from allied helicopters at drop zones marked as H on your map. They will head to the nearest drop zone if there are more in the mission area. Each drop will provide ammunition, repair kits, and fuel. Echo uh. 7, the supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. That was interesting. I think it was... Oh, makes sense. Okay, I just retarded. Forget what I was about to say. I have to say, during some missions, this weight... is one of the most... Uh, is the longest 30 seconds that you're gonna have in your life. And it's fun. Especially if you want to use your boosters a lot, like I, because I have zero cure in the world. One thing that helps, not me, because well, it's me, is having a little bit of a better Amy, aim. But it will help you a lot. Go a long way. Echo 7. Another wave incoming. Fuck, this shit is getting serious. One thing I learned, and it took me like a lot more than it should. I don't know if that is the case for the Russian tanks, but uh, later. I did discover then you could kill 
projectiles with your own. So yeah, imagine my surprise when that happened. That's a strategy, uh, the stupid flank maneuver that I'm doing, that doesn't work. Like I said, remember, having a good aim does help a lot. I'm gonna call that kill for Jake, because I do believe I didn't do shit in that one. What the fuck is happening? Alert! Our satellites are picking up strong heat signatures across the border. We have what we believe to be nuclear detonations in Russian territory. Russia was nuked by us? No, not that I know of. We must wait for new orders. Remain in your positions. Uh, the nuke sound was very loud, but it's fine, and the nuke sound's still going. Now let's go do upgrades, because I'm a very, and I mean very, boring person. Where is the engine? Uh, the energy. Uh, first things first, uh, give me an energy. So, the capacity, don't care. N not exactly. I want regeneration. Because let me tell you something. I'm not good at this game. Which means that I need energy. And normally people would say, oh, upgrade health, that's gonna give more bang for a buck. No. And energy make you escape. Walking speed, it's because, well, I'm gonna need to run and I don't have enough to do that, so I'm gonna keep on those two. Uh, yeah. And I'm gonna place one last on weapons on this. Now let's give it a look on whatever we have on the hangar. Because here's the thing. This lovely thing is customizable. A lot customizable. First, the parts. Here my 100% very, very notion of how we're gonna work this out. Targeting. I don't use many. Here's the thing. This game tries very, very hard to make me not play in my stupid way. Giving me a lot of ways to not do that. But it's me. So, let's see. Uh, not very important. Lock on. Energy. HP is good. HP is good. So, we're gonna... That's, a, that's the big first one. So, yeah. Give me this. I look happy. Let's go for torso. We have the same two torso. And it's not that better, so we sell one. Uh army arms the same. Legs the same. Let's go for weapons. Let's I think we got it was a shoulder weapon. No, I was wrong. Oh, let me tell you something. On my... The previous time I'm gonna play, I never got this. So I'm happy. This sounds cool. Uh, I want this in my left hand.
Well, equipment. Give me the battery. And give me one plate of armor. Modules, we only have one. Passive modules, we have a lot. Boy, oh boy. What are we gonna get? Give me the generation. Yeah, like I said, original has F. Here's the thing. Uh, next time, uh, get money, upgrade the passive modules the fast that you can, because those things really go a long way to saving your little ass. Second thing, love how it seems, because, well, from previous times that I play, the buttons were a little bit smaller. Love how they are not smaller anymore. Huh. Is that... I think that would be the beginning, so let's see. No, it isn't. Well, I like this. I really do. A lot of lore things need... Uh, it was needed during the game, and I love how they placed this. You're gonna leave us here a second. You can read on your own. I'm gonna read on my own later. Because, well, I want to show gameplay. Hello, Echo 7. Due to the Russians' electronic curtain, we've lost contact with the 5th Mechanized Infantry Battalion. They were holed up in a village about one click from your position. I need you to confirm their status. If comms are down and you need support, give us a flare and I'll send in the cavalry. Be advised, Echo 7, retaliate only if fired upon. Do not engage the Russians unless they open fire on you. Out. Copy that. Tensions high, huh? You heard the lady. Infantry needs our help. We're moving out. Take up a position on the hill to the east. I'll sweep around from the north. Yep, got you covered, Ethan. I've got something on the short range comp. I'm passing it through to you. Genuine! Are surrounded! Keep on coming! Anyone! They're everywhere! Please! This is Echo 7. Hold on. We're almost there. I have to say one thing. This is one of my three favorite missions. During the full let's play, it's gonna be very clear what are my favorite missions. Well, look at the feeling that you started having already. It's kind of cool. And I don't know, the the, the ambience is it's great. I like the the more dark and I wish the style of missions dragged a little bit for like two or more. I don't know. I just love the idea of discovering the enemy. Because, well, big spoiler warnings, we're not fighting Russians. Just, uh, heads up. Boxes mean stuff, gear. While money means money, so, yeah. Self-explanatory. Now here's the thing, I know we're asking, oh, you're not using boosters, and I should, but it's my notion of, I played this game before, and I noticed I that I... Village. I got you, move up! I end up using the booster a lot to arrive at the objectives, and I end up without energy during the objectives, and that was not a happy time, so now I overcompensate. And here's the thing, I'm saying that I overcompensate even after. Jesus, what the fuck happened here? Are you seeing this? Ethan, we've got something incoming, from the north, it's, I don't... What is it? Jake! It's not Russians. I don't fucking know, but they're coming right for you, get ready! 
Oh boy. Holy fuck, what in the hell are those things? Uh, they're not real! They can't be! Fire! Open fire! Just hold your pants, boy. You're in the... Did we have people? I really don't remember having people last time. That I, I love because this is a thing. Oh, I played this before, so I kind of know. But get the, get the fuck out of there! Our guys are still in there. We can't leave them behind. Send up the flare and cover me. One thing: don't let anything get into melee with you because you don't have many melee options to save your ass. Your main melee option is to use your boost. Oh, wrong dodge. Use your boost to get away. So that's why I said conserve energy. At all costs. That's one of the reasons why I don't use much, I'm not using the shoulder mountain weapons that much. Because they are good to clear like enemies when they are really close to you. And they are good backup weapons. Like I said, pay attention. And before anyone say no, there is no melee on the game and that's not that big of a deal. I will be honest, I'm, I'm okay if there is no melee. Because that means that the developer had more time to focus on the weapon combat. Okay, here's something. I firmly believe that... That's a thing. I don't know if that is... For this, you're gonna need to hold me with it's that balance or the fact that I'm accustomed with my old save. Is weapon killing far less efficient or did the... Just shoot. Yes, those things are air support, and that does kill enemies. And one thing, yeah, I said that. You can do, but don't expect me to kill projectiles with my own because, well, I'm not the best at games. Like I said, like I said many and many times, my skill level is a little above your typical IGM reviewer that does play the game and not just complain, so don't expect any sick tricks out of me. Expect ways to bullshit the game, but sick tricks? Nope. Funny thing. Uh, normally you would say, oh, you have to take care of bullet drop, 
I found the opposite is the case. Where I find myself overcorrecting uh, the weapon in a different way. Not to like bullet drop, but to because the bullet tends to go up as you shoot it. Oh boy, come on. And here's the EDF thing where oh, I do have to clear the. I can't believe we made it out of that. Command's going to shit themselves when they see the combat footage. I can barely believe it. Give myself. me the box. There's more boxes in some place. Someone better have an explanation for this shit. This is another level of end of the world type shit we're dealing with now. Sorry, I hit the mic. Well, we gra we grab a good bunch of stuff, so that's fine. Let's give it a little bit of a new upgrade on the max. That's the thing. It does have a EDF style of drop of uh, weapons and stuff, but different than EDF. Grab it quickly because if you don't grab the when the level ends, there's no like cool down to the level end, so you can go around grabbing stuff. Let's upgrade. We don't have enough upgrade to do that, so we gonna upgrade again. Energy weapon cooling. Why? Because I don't know if it is if it was because the my less time or balance. I do feel. My assault rifle will end up overheating, something that I don't remember seeing. I'm not gonna use you, so I sell. Here's the thing sniper rifles, really good. And I tend to keep always two of each weapon because I'm retarded. Don't, it's not necessary to do that. Game, don't do that. I don't want to show how bad I am at this. But I have to. Uh, what this is? Armor. Sure, give me armor. If anyone the lags, modules, same thing. Oh, this is a module. What this does? This is good. I think I never got th that one. One thing, you can customize a lot on the weapon, on the... Color style. Oh boy. I didn't know you could do that. I think because it's uh, I'm placing full color, it doesn't use anything else. But just because, yeah, I can make my evil Mac. Out of the fact that it's less than, well, 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, I can do the third mission and we're gonna close for this video. Remember, Grab the game, look it up, amazing thing. I really enjoy the customization and the combat, and here's the thing. For all, I see this is the beginning of a great franchise. Uh, with the decay of franchises nowadays and the fact that we are not going to see a new armor core in my lifetime, no matter how much I ask, or if I offer to sacrifice my firstborn of it, We're not gonna have any mech combat. The NATO forces around the city are currently engaged on multiple fronts, taking heavy losses. We cannot, I say again, we cannot lose this city. It is absolutely crucial if we want to maintain our foothold in the region. 
The upper echelon is directing reinforcement to you as we speak. I need you to hold off the enemy until backup arrives. Copy, Command. You can get the this. Those red shits are already here. Uh, Let's do this. Let me tell you something. Once more into the fray. I this think the sound is new. This is Echo 7. We are inbound on And I position. fucking love no. it. No! Get away from me, you shit! No. I sh shouldn't have done that. That was a waste of ammo. I love the sound of squashing those things with uh, artillery. Did I kill too fast? I think we I killed too fast. We have another wave rolling in! Those fuckers are trying to swarm us! They keep pounding us! I, I can't keep it up much longer! Hold the line! We cannot lose this city! That's a pretty satisfying sound. Let me tell about the folly of my style of play. Because I like big guns. Fuck! Ethan! It's another way! Roger! Engage! Engage! My men are running from the battle! I can't hold this on my own! Don't think, just shoot! Keep shooting! And because of that, the loot... ...end up being in, like, the middle of the enemy territory. So I have to run to grab. God damn, the sound is really satisfying, not gonna lie. Cannon is not that big uh, on damage. I barely remember. Uh, I know what I'm a again. Accustomed to my old gear with the high velocity or the grenade launcher. Well, boys, we have a problem. God, then I change and I'm using the howitzer. Echo 7, the supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. That's what I call danger close. And that's what I call I'm gonna die. Exactly what I wanted to hear, but fine. I'm fairly. Come on. Well, boys, that's gonna be special. Oh, from that side, that's okay. I have to say, like the sound for the assault rifle is a little. The assault rifle, no, the, this, the shoulder cannon is a little bit muted, but this is a very satisfying sound. So I think it, it even it out. And if Pentagon Wars taught me anything, it's that Bradley is not made for war. Fuck! That was a close one. Get ready for the next wave! I didn't uh -huh. even finish the first one. Not the first one, the current one. Oh, 
boy. Look at those fellas. Stupid, that one's stupid. Like I said, uh, your best friend on cold situations is the a quick burst of the the jet, and I hope that your friends. No. Bradley's down. That's dank. Oh, what a lovely sight. There's still more coming. Never get in circle like I did right now because then you're fucked. Great, I'm out of ammo. Addition, but I don't remember you being here that early. Fuck. But I'm gonna die. Take this kind of damage. Like I said. Out of energy means you're fucked. Outer energy mean you're fucked, so let's try one again, one more time. Maybe that will be the uh, one hour. KM of conservation is, is far more important than I remember. I think. The, region. the upper echelon is directing reinforcement to you as we speak. I need you to hold on to the enemy until backup arrives. Copy, Command. You can count on us. Those red shits are already here. Let's do this. Once more into the fray. This is fucking crazy. Get us some help up here. This is Echo 7. We are inbound on your position. Ow, no, ow, ow. No. No. I'm stuck. Not the game made me stuck, but my own competence. And that's funny. Okay. Now it's better. And remember when I said, oh, ammo conservation is far more important now than before. And I just pressed the button without even a second. Thought. We have another wave rolling in. Those fuckers are trying to swarm us. They keep pounding us. I, I can't keep it up much longer. Hold the line. We cannot lose this city. Oh boy.
God damn it. And before you ask, yes, uh, the When the enemy is far away, they use like, I think, 2D sprites. And the hitbox are not that different. I never noticed something like very meh over it. So, I found very okay. I don't, never found a problem with it. It's another way! Roger! Engage! Engage! What matter? Yeah. Running from the battle! I can't hold this on my own! Drop a... Uh... Don't think, just shoot! Keep shooting! So, uh, you... The guy takes... Three shots to kill. Echo set. The supply helicopter will soon arrive at the ground site. Like I said, those oh, can be the. Warn them coming. Calm down. We can do it. You are far more confident than I. On our situation, so. Oh boy. That was a missed shot. That took more than three hits. One thing, you do have to pay for the supply that you call in. I think it's... Oh, hi, Mara. Notice I'm kind of fucked. Yeah. Hello. Doing that wasn't good. I think doing what I did right now was one of the worst ideas that I could ever done, but well... You're not hearing here for the top 10 let's play moments, you're here for me barreling scratching Fuck, up. Fuck, that was a close one. Uh, Get ready for the next wave! I'm on it. And again, you see me overusing the posters? Oh, great, you didn't take even any damage. I waste a shot that I shouldn't on you.
ammo is king and energy is queen. My idea of using a big cannon is coming to bite me in the ass. Oh, hi, Mark. Bradley's hit! One of the Bradleys is destroyed! Oh! The mech can't take much more of this. Those are a large number of marks. And I'm gonna die. Don't ask how he survived it. The answer is barely. God damn it. Well, I will say one thing. For all intents and purpose, I think the game is harder than last time I played. And I'm not gonna chalk up for like YouTube curse. I will say it's probably gameplay balance. Fuck! What was that? It? We got them all. I can't believe we got this lucky twice. Thanks for covering our asses, Echo Seven. Echo Seven, this is Command. Reinforcements are inbound on your position. Right, I say something. Command. The situation is all green here. Good job, Echo 7. Though we don't have time for formalities. I need you to move to the city of Baku immediately. The situation is getting critical. I have an airlift on the way to your location. Do you copy? Copy that, Command. Echo 7 moving out. What did you say before? Once more into the fray? I normally don't talk uh, over cutscenes. Let me say, that was a challenge. Compared to last time, I do believe I never, like, had that much of difficult on this mission. One thing for sure, I never had the cannon on the beginning, so I always would have two assault rifles. That may be a thing. Oh, let's see what we got. We got two extra sniper rifles, aka 50 bucks. But here's the thing. I kind of enjoy it. Again, energy skiing. So there's no uh, difference here, isn't it? No. So we can safely sell. Let's do one upgrade to the Mac. Do we have enough? Yeah, we have, so yes. Give me that. And then click on the same thing, Mac Hanger. Passive modules, give me more energy. First one, I giving the, gen the energy generation. And in the second one, I think I'm gonna give the battery 
yeah, for now we're gonna give the battery into old times. Uh, probably would be battery until I get the energy, like full energy regeneration. But I don't know right now after those balances. I gotta say, a lot more challenge. Not say uh, one thing. It's not because the YouTube curse because I think I got a little bit silent at some points. Fun game. Uh, I will look forward to do the full let's play right for the channel. Again, only gonna do the full let's play when the game is out. Don't want to spoil too much. Funny thing, like I said, some enemies appear early that I remember. Doesn't matter that much. Still had a lot of fun, and that is the thing. This game is fun, and yes, I I can see this being the beginning of a great franchise. Not going to lie, uh, there is some problems, of course. I do. I will be upfront here and say, levels are a little bit flat. I don't see much of a height or something like that. So there is only I think one map. Out of the top of my head from the last times that I played that did have like height advantage for you and well funnily enough going ignoring that and going full front assault was the better choice don't know now and I think that is more or less my main complaint about it besides that it's a very good game, and let us remind, uh, when was the last time that we got a game, uh, Mac game like this? Yeah, it's been a long time, like I said, we're not gonna have any armor core in a long fucking time. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for today, uh, see you next time on the full release of Mechanoid's Nightmare. See you around! Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This was the video. If you enjoyed, leave it a like. If you didn't, leave it a dislike. If you have anything to say, please leave a comment. And if you want to see what the hell is going to be coming next on this mess, subscribe. And see you guys on the next episode.